Good evening, everyone. I just had a sneezing fit, so I'm trying to get my oh, blah, 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 straighten back up. I hope everyone is having a great day. I have my receipt from my JC haul that I did my last video, and I was very impressed with what I got. I mean, for sixty-five forty-six, I did go over fifteen dollars and forty-six cents. I wanted to keep it at fifty or less, but you know, we found the peanut oil that I've been looking at for months. Um, we found like soups that were discounted, you know, um, I mean, just all kinds of good stuff. So I think we did pretty well. We got a lot of, uh, longer term food, like our, um, nor sides. We got some Annie's macaroni and cheese. We got some soups, the oil. I mean, we got some stuff that, that will last for a while. Um, and then Friday we'll be focusing on like pasta um, what was the other thing? Dehydrated potatoes. We will get more rounds of dehydrated potatoes. So, yeah, we got a lot more to get for our prepper stock up. And I am in full, full throttle prepping. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I want to be able to feed mine and help if I can't. So I'm just stocking up as much food as possible. And I try to do it with these sales, with products that will last a while at their lowest price. I really want to talk about a word and put this word as something that's going on here on our little homestead. I, as you know, if you followed me, I have paid a surveyor to do a surveyor survey. They finalized today. So I went out with the surveyors and I walked the line. I could sing a song to that, right? And the situation between the house is very grave right now for our neighbor. And I'm going to give you a word, deception. When someone deceives you, they are lying to you. Deceiving, cheating, lying, it's all the same to me. I, I don't, oh, well, that's a business kind of deceit, or, well, that's a personal, it's all the same to me. I have no tolerance. I mean, there's no tolerance, you know, minus, plus or minus 0 0.06 thousands, no, 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 I have no tolerance. So when I walked down there, I, I kept thinking about what our neighbor said to me and what he has said to my husband. As they put the final, um, stakes down in the ground with a cap on it. So those are now official markers of property corners and bends. First off, the man told me that he had had it surveyed by his friend. And he said, well, we have another 10 feet that we're going to cut in in order to get a retaining wall so that I can drive my my little thing in there and unload my wood to the wood burner that he's going to put outside. So the whole thing was is he wanted to put a wood burner and have a little driveway up to it. And he also went ahead and put a footer for an add-on in the back of the house. So when the neighbor and I were talking and I asked, I said, well, did you file the survey? You know, is there paperwork? Did he put pens down? What What's going on? Well, no, it was just my friend. He works for a surveyor, so he just did the work. The footer of the add-on is inches from the true property line. inches. There was no survey. 
his guy probably said, well, here's the property line. Go ahead and put your footer there. They're not going to care. How do you deal with a situation like that? It's very upsetting. I'm very upset because he went to every other neighbor and told them that I was causing trouble with his remodeling of this whole house. When in fact, he was probably going to dig in so far and get into our leech line and take 10 foot of our property. So deception, the action of deceiving someone, obtaining property by deception is exactly what was underneath the definition. A lot of people deceive you with information, They a belief which could be formed by faith or by opinion, or a belief that is formed through fact. Well, I believe... I have faith in, but you have to have the fact. And now I have the fact, and everyone's going to be upset over it. Because I don't know how that's going to shake out with the county. So this might be a good lesson to teach kids, okay, about deception, lying, stealing, and cheating. You will be found out in the end, eventually. And then what are you going to do? There you go. That's it. You have a great day. I hope all this made sense. I just wanted to get this off my chest, but I also wanted to learn how to shop. Learn how to do it. Save money. Keep an eye on the digitals. Keep an eye on your account. Keep an eye on what products are on events. Especially this one, because, of course, the digital events are horrible because you're trying to go through, scroll through, scroll through. And then if you clip all those coupons, they hang on, and you can't get other ones to put on there for the next week. I was so glad that event did not last because I absolutely hate it. <laughs> so I'm happy with this event. Hopefully this event will last a little bit um, because I really kind of want to kind of throw the pasta and a few things in. What in I just saw something move. It's a frog. It's two frogs. We never got cicadas, though. Anyway. It's not a, it's not a squirrel. It's a frog. Y'all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Shop well. <laughs> I hope all this makes sense. Bye, y'all. Don't deceive anyone. Teach kids not to do it, too.